Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So if you have been following along with us, you know that we've been refreshing our outdoor space a little bit. If you haven't caught those videos, I will link those down below. And don't be afraid to push that red subscribe button to stay tuned for all of our upcoming videos. So this idea actually came about because my mom had some extra outdoor pillows around her house and she didn't want them anymore. So she said that I could take them. I wasn't really sure what I was gonna do with them, if I was gonna cover them or try and paint them. But what I did know is that the color was starting to fade and I was not crazy about the print. So I saw the Rust-Oleum Outdoor Fabric Paint and I thought I would give it a try. And I ended up going with the navy blue color. Now I found this at Home Depot and it was just about $12 a can. There really isn't too much prep work with this product. The only thing recommended is washing your uh, outdoor pillows before you put the spray on. I took the pillows outside and just decided to wash them out on the grass. Now I have this hose attachment and I love this hose attachment so much because I use it for so many different things. It has all the different little settings on there and my favorite one to use is the jet setting which is the one that I used on the pillows. And I just took some Dawn dish soap and put that all over the pillows with the jet setting and it actually cleans them up really, really nicely. And after they were all washed, I let them sit out in the sun for about a day just to fully dry off. And once they were ready for paint, I just put down some old cardboard on the grass and got to spraying. Don't forget your mask. Now the instructions on the can do say to do one light coat and then let it dry for 30 minutes. So that is what I'm doing here, finishing up the first coat. The directions also say to make sure you shake the can thoroughly before you start painting, almost about a minute, and so I did that before starting as well. And this is after the first coat. I let them dry about 30 minutes in the sun. And then I got started on the second coat of paint. And mind you, I do not have a lot. There's only four pillows and these are not very big. I would say they're about 16 by 16. And on the second coat is when I kind of started to run into some problems. The paint started running out and it was like sputtering in a way where it just wouldn't come out that great anymore. And seeing that I had already spent $12 on one can, I would have to go back to Home Depot and get another can. And to my surprise, they were all out of the navy blue. So I kind of decided to just call it and this is what I started out with. Obviously I didn't even get to the fourth pillow, but the other three did get some coverage on them, but not full coverage. Had I gotten one more can of paint, I probably would have been able to finish, but some of them didn't even get it on the back. So overall, my personal opinion on this product is that it is good, however, it is expensive. So at $12 a can, um, this did not even cover four pillows front and back. It covered maybe three and one of them didn't get uh, fully covered. However, if you have a lot of space or even a print, um, it could take a lot of money to cover those with paint. In my opinion, I think it would be worth it to just invest in the pillow covers or slip covers. You can find them on Amazon. Once I started looking around a little bit more, I did find these outdoor cushion covers. If you're interested, I can link those down below. They are a set of four for just about $40 or so. They had a ton of great reviews and they look like they're really good quality. I did find these outdoor pillow covers and these were really, really good quality in my opinion and they were two for $14.99. So I thought that was a great deal. Because these pillow covers were such great quality and they feel like they would really protect a pillow, I felt pretty safe putting my own um, down alternative pillows in there. I had some extra ones laying around the house. I was actually really excited that I found these because they are really great quality and they look great outside as well. 
So I don't know about you, but one of my favorite things about pillows or pillow covers is when they have a zipper and you can take the pillow out and wash the cover. It makes it so easy and so convenient to keep them nice. I was very impressed with the quality of these pillowcases for the price. I just thought that you couldn't beat it. And with that said, we are ready to take them outside and give it a quick karate chop. And now our vision for our outdoor space is really starting to come to life. Creating this outdoor space has really been a little labor of love and we're so excited to see everything finally start coming together and it's a nice space for us to hang out outside and light the little fire pit and we just have a lot of fun um, with our family out there. We would like to put an outdoor TV right on that blank wall. I think it's the perfect place for one. Eventually we'll get there and we will enjoy this outdoor space in the meantime. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll catch you next time. Bye guys.